This is the top of Mount Foyen in western Norway, looking down at Bergen, the country's second largest city, roughly half the size of Oslo. Over a million people every year board the Floybannon funicular to catch a glimpse of the city and the sea. For centuries, Bergen was the Norwegian capital and the country's most important port. They've been selling fish here for almost a thousand years. Torget is Bergen's main square. A century ago, the color of the catch was matched by the bustle. Hundreds of fishing boats crowded this area. The money to be made here attracted the attention of the most powerful merchants of the Middle Ages, the Germans of the Hanseatic League. The merchants established a trading settlement here in the 10 hundreds, and by the 13 hundreds, they had the place sewn up. This is where they lived, what was once known as the Tiska Bruggen, or German Key. Today, it's simply the Bruggen, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and Norway's leading medieval attraction. The original buildings went up in flames in 1702. These were built soon after in the style of the Hansa period, and some have been taken back in time to provide a flavor of how a merchant lived. The Hanseatic Museum brings to life the rigidly policed lifestyle of the Hansa merchants. There was to be no fraternizing with the locals, no singing on the job. Even the dimensions of rooms and corridors were carefully regulated. The last German merchant left in 1764, but a century later, Salt Cod was still playing its part in putting Bergen on the map. This time round, the son of a fish merchant attracted the world's attention with his music. Edvard Grieg is Norway's most famous composer, and he recognized the influence his fishy background had on his music. He once said, I am sure my music has the taste of codfish in it. A few kilometers south of the city center is Trollhagen, the hill of trolls. And it's here Grieg spent the last 22 years of his life. His home is now a museum. It tells the story of Grieg's life, but it's the house itself that captures the spirit of the man. It's been preserved much as he left it when he died in 1907. He's buried a couple of minutes away alongside his wife, the singer Nina Hagerup, down by the water's edge. Art and culture are at the heart of today's Bergen, the city that built its reputation on fish. <laughs>